Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and back to another ride with me video. Come along with me today for a lesson on Miss Pumpkin, Miss Pumpkin Pie. We've all heard the chestnut mare stereotype and I'm here to tell you that with pumpkin, it is true. It is 100% true, although she doesn't look like it right now. She looks like a perfect angel, and honestly, she is a perfect angel, but sometimes she's got a little bit of that spicy red chestnut mare in her. People say, oh, the chestnut mare is just a stereotype, and I'm sure that it is with most chestnut mares, but pumpkin, it is 100% accurate. But she is honestly such a sweetheart and so good to ride. Good girl. Wow. That was so easy. Sorry, I think I pulled out one of your little chinny chin chin hairs. Yeah. And do you have a little beard? Are you a beard lady? Okay, okay. Pumpkin's forelock is like. It's a pathetic excuse for a forelock. <laughs> no, she's beautiful. She's oh got like God. a really long mane though. So I don't know if someone's like cutting her forelock or if it just doesn't grow. Now that Miss Pumpkin Pie is all tacked up, it's time to make our way down to the outdoor arena. The weather was gorgeous today, so obviously we're going to ride outside. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I was a little bit nervous riding Pumpkin today because I knew I was going to be cantering her off the lunge line. I have cantered her on the lunge line before, and I found that her brakes weren't necessarily the best. Um, she does stop when you ask her to stop, but she doesn't go straight to a walk. She kind of it continues to do that like super fast trot that it is extremely uncomfortable but you know what it's gonna be fine and we're gonna have a great ride pumpkin is actually a super smooth horse and she has a really nice canter um, so as long as I can get her to stop um, I think it'll be a lovely canter and I'm sure she'll be just fine she was a racehorse I'm not sure how much racing she actually did but I do think she kind of got fired because she wasn't that fast but uh, she still is faster than your typical lesson pony I think First thing I thought you got on from the ground and I was like, what the heck? Yeah, my legs are just that long. Good girl. Okay, walk on. Today was one of those days where I just couldn't get comfortable in the saddle. My feet didn't feel comfortable in the stirrups. I felt off balance. My lower leg felt unstable and wobbly. And I'm sure that every now and again, we all have these days. And on top of that, I couldn't get the right stirrup length for my right stirrup. I think pumpkin saddle has mismatched stirrups. So for the right one, I could either have it too short or too long. What I should have done is I should have taken the time to roll the stirrup so I could get the perfect length, but I didn't. And honestly, the more that I reflect back on this lesson, the more that I regret it because the entire time I was just fiddling with my foot in the stirrup because I was so uncomfortable with the length that I had it at and poor pumpkin is having to deal with me constantly fidgeting with my foot and she was honestly such a saint for putting up with that. Okay, way to cut me off. Sorry. Hey, don't cut me off. I'm not. I'm doing a circle. Right off the bat, Pumpkin felt a little bit sluggish today. Usually she is quite forward and she has this very powerful working walk, like she's strutting a catwalk or something. And today she's just kind of like dragging her feet along. And that's usually not like Pumpkin. I usually don't have to put a lot of leg on her. She's usually quite responsive and quite forward and quite fast to be honest. This ride, I struggled to get Pumpkin moving forward and to maintain a good pace. Every time I would ask her to turn, she would break into a walk. And I really struggled with that when we were um, practicing figure eights. And this first attempt here was just an absolute total fail. You can see she's just completely stopped to a walk and I just 
couldn't really get her to pick up that trot again. There were also some horses coming off to the side there, so I think she may have been a little bit reluctant to trot, but that's an excuse, so we tried it again. So as you can see, that was just awful, disgraceful. Um, initially, it's really easy to get frustrated at the horse. And I'm not going to lie, that's how I first felt. I was frustrated a little bit with Pumpkin for not doing what I had asked her to do. But the more that I reflect back on the ride, the more that I wish that I worked harder. I wish that I was putting more leg on her. There's so many things technique wise that I wish I did different and I'm no longer frustrated with pumpkin. I'm just frustrated with myself. There's so many things that I wish I would have done differently or better during this ride. You're not keeping her nose bent and looking in the direction that she's going because that's why she's walking through the turn. Okay. okay. So you can hear there that my trainer is giving me a little bit of a pointer there and she was saying that I wasn't keeping her nose bent and looking in the direction that I was asking her to turn. So when I would pull on the rein and ask for her to turn, she was kind of caught off guard for a little bit. She wasn't expecting me to ask her to turn, which was causing her to slow down. So that's another thing that I wish I did better, but you know what? This is just advice that I can take for my next ride and make my next ride even better. Doing our figure eights coming from the other direction now, it was better than the first one. She didn't stop to complete walk, but she still was slowing down. And I noticed that over there in that corner, I think she was spooking a little bit because there is someone sitting there and watching. And every time we go by that side, she's got her ears pricked forward. She's looking at it all intently and she slows down a lot. So I think that's another factor as to um, why our figure eights were so poor. And and oh, I also forgot to mention that we were doing these in sitting trot. So when you sit deep and back into your seat in sitting trot, that's a cue for them to halt or slow down. So if I'm not putting enough leg on her, hence why she's been stopping and slowing down. You're fine. Oh. You're fine. What happened? You're fine. You're fine. Come on. And as you can see there, Pumpkin did have a little bit of a spooky moment, but it wasn't a bad spook at all. She was fine. And now we're taking a walk break before Canter, and I decided, you know what, I gotta fix my stirrup. And the amount of relief I felt almost immediately after fixing it was crazy. I wish I did it sooner. Never put things off because you're lazy. Anyways, so now I'm tightening my girth as we get ready for our Canter. No, yeah. it's tight. You don't like. They're minus from two. They're amazing. So warm. Yeah. And then in the towel, What are you doing, pumpkin? Okay. I didn't. Are you guys friends? Y'all good? Okay. <laughs> You're fine. fine. And I think that's the chestnut mare coming out on pumpkin just a little bit.
And Pumpkin's Canter was lovely. It was super smooth. It was a little bit slower than I was initially expecting, but based on how she was trotting earlier in her lesson, I think that was pretty up to par. And we are gonna go left again because as I mentioned, um, Pumpkin was a resource, so um, she has a hard time picking up her right lead. So a stronger, more experienced rider can definitely help her do that. I'm still learning to canter, so we're just gonna go left again today. Thank you. And that concludes our lesson for today. I gotta admit, I wasn't totally satisfied with the way that I performed. This one was a little bit mentally frustrating for me, um, but you know what? It's rides like these that's gonna ultimately make us a stronger rider. I know what I need to work on for the next time and I'm excited to come back and make those changes and do better. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.